Good morning, Sarah Gash, and um, I received some more inspiration, as I do, to put another Facebook Live out here. Um, this is going to be focused energy healing on our thinking. Um, <clears throat> so why this comes into play, it occurred to me with um, all that is going on, all the trauma being released, and the fear, and the anxiety, none of which I'm judging you for, um, as that's all being brought up, it had me thinking about some prior experiences I've been through um, where I learned some very valuable lessons. When I was a teenager, my brother committed suicide and this shifted my whole reality. Um, there was a lot of other trauma that happened at the same time and I was very angry and I was very hurt and um, I was in deep grief. Thankfully, um, I got help because I became suicidal on all on my own through that experience. Um, all the trauma from a lot of different experiences over my childhood came forward. It's like this huge conglomeration of right on the top of my head. And I did not cope well at, I think I was 16 years old, didn't cope well at all. Um, hi Giselle, hi Gail. So I... I was I got into counseling and I got in with a really really psych good um, counselor, and I don't remember any of my sessions with her except for two things that she said, and one of them I'll share here. She said to me at one point because I was really in this bad place. She said, "Sarah, what you think is going to create in you how you feel." And how you feel is going to feed how you think. And you're going to have everything be an experience of that from what you speak to, um, to the whole experience you're having. So if you want to shift how you're feeling in this, you shift how you think about it. Now that's not to say I wouldn't still have grief over what had happened. But some of the thinking I was having, having was incredibly non-productive and it was creating in me all this turmoil. So I reflected on that last night. Um, and, you know, I started thinking about that and I heard distinctly, the, here's a message to send. Um, during this time with all this turmoil that we can shift how we feel. But there's also some healing that goes into that because sometimes there's reasons why we don't shift. Um, you know, if we look... There's so many teachers right now teaching. Dr. Joe Dispenza is teaching about this feedback loop between the brain and the body and the emotions and everything happening. He teaches about changing how you feel and, and your body and your wellness, changing your thinking, bringing in energy. Um, Caroline Leaf, um, she, she has some really great stuff out there. We can look to the Bible and we're going to find stuff about... Um, you know, changing our thinking. And I actually went searching last night to see this because I, I was researching. And I'll just share really quickly. You know, in Proverbs, it says, someone thinks him within himself, and so he is. Um, Today I have given you the choice between life and death, between blessing and curses. Now I call on heaven and earth to witness the choice that you make. So we have a choice in this. <clears throat> Whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent, think about these such things. So, I mean, it's all over the place. Um, Greg Braden, who I love, talks about the power of your thoughts. Um, all of these are incredibly important. What we think about changes our physical experience. This is a feedback loop that goes. What we think creates comes down into our body. Our body emotions are our body's way of communicating. So it's this constant feedback that's going back and forth like this. Um, so if you're feeling anxiety, if you're feeling something within the body, there is a feedback loop going with thinking going there. And we can shift and change that. Um, Sometimes it's not easy. Sometimes it takes some serious work, but you can. Um, we are aware of 
roughly five to 10% of what we think consciously. Most of what's happening is subconsciously. And that's where I believe the energy healing comes in because it helps to shift that too. Though there are ways for you to look at that and shift that on your own. Um, when you're looking at the subconscious, you know, science has shown with epigenetics, we carry a lot of beliefs from our ancestors. And this is where, I mean, they know that we carry in our DNA the information from the traumas, from the behavior patterns, from our ancestors. So we're carrying things here now in this experience we're having through this that is from that. You may not be aware of that because it's subconscious programming. And... Um, but becoming aware of it, we can shift it. It is possible to shift. Um, and that's where I'm getting lots of feedback that collectively, a lot of people are in this place of anxiety because it has been brought up. It is in their DNA and it is ready to be released and it is ready to be cleared. We always have the opportunity to choose love. We always have the opportunity to choose divine. We always have the opportunity to be in that space. Um, we have the opportunity to choose how we think and to change the fixed physical experience that we're having. Um, sometimes there are tools that can help significantly to help us do that. Um, so when we choose love, when we choose to come from love, we are choosing our power. We are choosing the power over fear. And some fear is so very necessary. Like I've said before, um, when you see the cliff and there's only this much of a ledge, that fear you have that tells you if you fall, it's not going to be good, that is so useful and we need that. But there is a lot of fear that you go into that is counterproductive and not helpful. We want to be aware. We want to have clarity. We have want to have the ability to focus. Um, oh, Giselle, thank you so much. Um, hi, hi, Kelly and Brandy and Charlie. Um, so what I'm focusing on today for an energy healing one, it is to release the trauma because even if you're really not being impacted by it, I, I'm betting there's still some trauma being held in your energy field because that's how it works. Um, but it's also about giving yourself permission to change your thinking, giving yourself permission to flow into um, to healing that and giving yourself the opportunity to shift your focus. Um, we can spend all our time here in a place of um, sadness, despair, oh my gosh, what am I gonna do? And there is a certain level, if you don't have enough food on your cupboard shelves, I get it, and that becomes a safety issue. Um, but we can be empowered to shift focus and try to see what we can do within this. Um, where is our power in this? What community resources are available? So I am not negating your experience in any way, shape or form. And I do think a lot of people are having grief right now at this time. And grief is one of those things you have to allow yourself to process through, though how we think can make that process easy or hard or harder. Um, so here's, we're going to just tap in and do a meditation and um, do some clearing here. Now for all of this, you give permission. This is for you to choose to accept or not. Um, I'm getting divine guidance of what needs to happen, but it is up for you to decide if you want to accept that or not to change that. With energy healing, we can change our thinking. We can change those thoughts. We can change the beliefs that are created by those thoughts. And then we can shift the paradigm. It is possible. And I have personally experienced such rapid transformation. Um, and I have seen it for clients and it, it is just amazing. So it is possible. Um, all things are possible through the energy of divine God, universe, source, whatever your word is for that. So before we start, Whatever basis you come from, it is all welcome, as long as you believe in something, whether you call that energy, God, power, witnessing that is, is, is so powerful, because all things are possible through that energy of unconditional love. So we're going to take a moment here to get present and to get aware. Um, and I will put in the, the notes after um, where the energy healing part actually starts so that if it's something you feel like you need to hear again, um, we are like onions, we are like Shrek says, and it clears through those layers. So I want you to take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. 
Try for at least five seconds, but do what you can. Be present in your heart space. And I want you to feel into your heart space. Visualize maybe you being in your heart space. See the energy of love in that space. See this beautiful pink light in your heart space. Feel compassion and appreciation. Ask yourself what you are appreciative of today. I'm so appreciative of the eight hours of sleep I received. Oh, my body just loved it. And feel into that. Now see this pink light and expand it. See this expand all the way around you. See inside your cells and the space around your cells. They actually know we are more space than we are physical. So see that space. And I want you to see this pink light going down, down your body like liquid, down your hips, down your thighs, down your calves, into the earth. Like, like tree roots that are going to grow all the way to the center of the earth. Mother Earth is an extension of divine because we are all part of that God energy. And pulling up Mother Earth energy, beautiful golden energy coming up, up our feet. Feel it like liquid gold going up our body. This beautiful rose gold up to our chest. All the way up to the top of your head and back down to your chest. You're surrounded by this beautiful gold light. Now I want you to take it up and go up above your space and go out into the universe. And go through the stars and the moons and plug into this beautiful golden white pink you're moving through colors until you get to this beautiful white light and in this white light you are the energy of creation you're feeling it flow all the way through you this is incredibly healing now bring this back down into your heart space so you are this beautiful energy center of gold and white and pink and it's flowing all the way through you. Take a deep breath and breathe that in knowing you are worthy and deserving to receive that. A lot of us feel as if we are not worthy and deserving to have the peace and the love that comes from this connection. So taking a deep breath in and a deep breath out. The reality is, the truth is, we are all that is. We are part of that, though we are not the whole of that. And that is what loves you, and you are infinitely loved. So that is truth. There is no other truth than that. Okay, so feeling into that energy, I'm going to... I'm hearing to call on the energy of... So I also do multiple energy healing modalities, and I'm hearing to bring in this beautiful... Um, violet energy to flow through you you accept or not I'm seeing it go to a lot of you and this healing is for now and for all future for all times for anyone with the intention that it is um, to be helpful for in the highest and best way so seeing this energy flow this is the energy of transmutation so it's taking it's taking an emotion of feeling and it's changing it transmuting it into love vibration now, when we look at what we are thinking about, a lot of us get stuck in this feedback loop of negativity. And I'm not talking about affirmations, though affirmations are great, but it's more of we don't give ourselves permission to shift it, to shift it and see that it's possible to stand in our power instead of standing in our disempowerment. So first thing I'm hearing is to release all the trauma that's being inhaled for everybody who comes on this because we have been it's almost like this vibrate this shake boom and all this trauma is released so i'm hearing to release all that trauma the pain the anxiety 
all those fears from other times, places, dimensions, and releasing them to Creator's light and filling them up with love. Thank you. It is done. It is done. It is done. Show me. Some people just feel a release. Some feel peace. Some don't feel anything at all. Some people feel the tingles as it goes. Okay, and I'm hearing to do a, through divine love and light, divine healing, to release all energetic cords, hooks, to any of those paradigms mm -hmm. throughout the times, any place that that trauma is linked to, to release all that and send it to Creator's light. Change it now. <sighs> okay. And I'm hearing, so one of the things we can do, because the receptor sites and how they work on your cells, is we can teach you a different way of being which can help you to think differently. So I'm hearing to download, I know how to change my thinking. I know I am allowed to change my thinking. I know I am deserving and worthy to change my thinking. And I know how to do this and align it to the highest and best through God. Thank you. That. I'm allowed to see clearly with discernment what is happening. I am worthy and deserving to do so. I know how to, I can, and I do. I know how to choose love and joy through my thoughts. I know how to feel peace. I know how to allow my thoughts to echo peace, joy, and love. I know how to see the potential for growth, for expansion for rising up within this energy. I know I'm allowed to, I'm worthy of it, I'm deserving, I can, I have creator's definition of it, and I do. <sighs> Create that now. Okay. I have free will to choose my thoughts, to be aligned with love and joy, to clearly focus on the virtues and to vibrate with them with my words and thoughts. I'm worthy, I'm deserving, I'm allowed to, I can, and I do for all of you. That I and you, and all of these are intended for you, of course, I know I'm saying I can, but it's for you that you can. Um, that you can release any oaths, vows, obligations keeping you without your free will in your thinking, resolving and pulling them through all times of eternity and between times in the highest and best way, sending that all to Creator's light, marking them as complete in all lifetimes. Thank you, it is done, it is done, it is done, show me. Oh, and I'm hearing to release more trauma because that one just released some trauma. I'm sending that to Creator's light. It's almost like we're pushing away the cobwebs. Okay, I felt that one that you know what it means to have free will through Creator's definition. That you know that you are deserving and worthy of free will and that we all have that free will. That you are allowed to change your mind. You are allowed to shift and focus on what is a benefit to you and to others. Oh, that you know how to live in the spirit of your power and divine power. That you know how to live in the spirit of love and free will without unhealthy fear and timidity. Creator of all that is, create that now. All of these are on all levels. Oh. You know what that means, how to, when to, and you do. You know what it means to be calm and to be filled with the energy of God, Creator, Universe, Light. That your cells are worthy and deserving of it. That you are worthy and deserving of that through all space and time and all levels. That we change that particularly on the genetic level for any places that your ancestors believed that they were not worthy and deserving of being filled with God's universe, sacred light, whatever word is. Thank you. That we sink, okay, so I'm hearing this is a healing, that we sink 
your mind and body to be in the energy of peace, calm, love, and joy. That you know how to, that it's possible that we can create that feedback loop of that in the highest and best way. Create that now. <sighs> okay. That we can release all memorized suffering in all our cells, all the programs, and release them to reprogram to live without suffering through all space and time and all levels. That you know how to change your thinking without chaos and suffering. That you can choose to change your thinking and live in a place of peace, love, growth, expansion without that chaos and suffering. Create that now. Okay, and I'm seeing more trauma being brought up from yourselves. Um, let's release that. Send that to Creator's Light. Bring in a healing of pure unconditional love. All the while, this pure um, violet light is flowing through you too and helping transmute that in your body. <sighs> okay. That you know that it's possible to be in harmony. You know what harmony is, how to be, when to be, and that you are. That you can release all addictions in your cells to guilt, chaos, trauma, and drama, self-hate, dislike, blame, suffering, and anguish. Through all space and time, all the way back to the origination point, releasing all energetic ties to it through divine love and light. Create that now. Change it. Thank you. Oh, because emotions can be addictive just like substances can. Our cells get addict addicted to them sometimes. So we want to reprogram them to want to live in a place of growth, expansion, love, um, harmony, um, all those positive things, uh, truth, beauty, wonder, joy, that we reprogram all that into your cells now at this time through all space and time, what it feels like, how to be, what creator's definition of, and that you do create that now. And I'm seeing a lot of light flowing in here. I'm seeing a lot of light going through your cells. That you know how to live free of any suffering and chaos in your cells and free of the addiction of chaos and suffering. Ooh, that you love yourself and can learn to be at peace and find worth and accept who you are. That your cells can be reprogrammed to that. That you can learn all that without the suffering and the chaos. That the belief that you are learning to love yourself, to be connected, to be to accept yourself, to be worthy, to be in peace and harmony. That you have that belief through all space and time back to the origination point, unraveling it from that place. And changing it to you have all that without the suffering and the anguish, without the chaos, trauma, drama, without the addictions to guilt, without the addictions to self-hate, that you know how to do that, when to do that, that it's possible to do that, and you do do that. And let's create that now on low levels. Thank you. Create that now. Oh. And this one may be an interesting one for you if you've never heard of it, but I'm hearing to release all energies. Um, entities, anything of negative thought form, vibration throughout the inner, throughout the generations that is influencing your thinking that we release that back to the origination point that any reasons for having that with you in an effort to learn self-love, connection to spirit, worth, value, acceptance, that we release those, that you have all that, and we release the oaths, vows, contracts, obligations, spells, curses, holding them in place, doing a full energetic disconnect. Create that now through love and divine light. Change it now. Okay. The more energy you release, the more I seem to breathe deeply and sometimes even yawn and you may find yourself doing that so i'm hearing to release the trauma again and the drama and anything that was brought out releasing that to creator's light replacing it with pure unconditional love in harmony 
And I'm seeing this beautiful violet flame wrapping around you. And I'm also going to put out there, and I'm hearing, that you know that it is possible, that you are able to, that you know how to talk to the God, the God name that resonates with you, whatever that is. To me, it's God, universe, creator. That you know you are allowed to have that communication. That you can step into the space of that and receive support and guidance through it. That you know through that energy that you can connect to your angels, your guides, all beings of love, light, energy. That it is possible. That you know how to. That you can hear their messages clearly and receive the guidance that you need at this time. That you know in all the cells of your body that you are supported and that you are loved. And you are infinitely loved and supported by the universe, by God, by creation. You know what that feels like, how to be, when to be, and you are. And we release you from the chains of suffering and the bonds of suffering. And we bring instead this acknowledgement, this change in thinking, that you are loved and worthy of it, free and without the suffering. We only suffer until we no longer have to. I used to learn all my lessons through pain, suffering, hard. And I learned very valuable lessons like compassion and kindness. Um, but we do that until we don't have to anymore. We learn from those and then we shift them. We heal the trauma so we don't have to keep on repeating it. And then we step into a new truth and a new paradigm. And it is possible. I'm hearing to download that now too if you're open to it. And I give you blessings of love and light. Um, if you need assistance, there's so many healers out there right now um, here to help you. If you come up with any other ideas, I know my um, eyes were closed through most of that. Normally I'm trying to look at what's going on here. But if you have feedback of specific things you're working on that are coming up or thoughts or things that you want to address, put them in the comments and I will check um, or send me a message. And in my next healing, I will certainly include that. So love and light to all of you. I'm going to set sacred space again. I'm going to divinely bring protection and love in surrounding you with the energy of pure creator love. Whew, and I'm hearing to set. Okay. And I'm hearing that this energy will run and it will flow for you for the next 24 to 48 hours. Re-listen to the energy healing part of this. I'm hearing in 24 to 48 hours, like I said, it peels back layers. Being consciously aware of where that comes from will help you too. And just start thinking with the conscious mind that you have of changing those thoughts consciously and stepping into growth and expansion, love, light, healing energy instead of the fear and the suffering and the chaos and the turmoil. Though I honor you in that and I'm not judging you for that. If it's being brought up and if you're in that place, it's a sign of something that needs to be healed. So it's actually a beautiful opportunity. So um, like I said, let me know if any of those come up and I will include those on another one. You have a great day. Um, blessings of love and light and pure unconditional love flowing to all of you. Um, my heart is with you and um, my heart is with you. Bye-bye.